Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Skyrim. Where we left last time, we were hunting down Mercer Frey. He did a bad and stole everything from the Thieves Guild. They are less than pleased with him. I also need to find my way to his house. Which is apparently more difficult than I thought because it doesn't exist. Damn it, we're on the wrong gate. Alright, let's try and break in this way. Or break out this way. Also, I have a craving for pierogies, like this insane pierogi craving right now. I think after this video. No! You have to let me in. Wait, can we climb the tree? No. Go away. Come on. Just let this happen. I think there's an invisible. Oh, maybe not. Come on. If I can get over this fence this way, I will just be so happy. I'm also curious to see how high I- There! <laughs> I think you're bleeding. I don't know who you- Oh, it's Fald. <laughs> right, it's Thug. I forgot about his Thug. Dude, I'm wearing dragon bones. Seriously. How did you think that was going to go for you? Also, thank you for the key. I'm not going to lie, that was pretty fun, climbing up that wall. Oh, let's go inside. It's barred from the other side, okay. That's fine. We'll go in the front door that we can get to now very easily because we have the key, I believe. Hi, Imperial Soldier. Don't mind the sound of battle that occurred Fresh meats and moments ago. Oh, okay. Um... This door, perhaps? Was I right the first time? Nope. Because this doesn't lead to the manor that we need to get into. Um, alright. What if we have to get over there and then go up? Go back into his yard here. Move the body out of the way. Hmm. Oh. Nope. Can't do that. I was trying to jog along the wall there, but that wasn't a thing that was going to happen. God might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapons wrong. He might get nervous about that. Yes, you're correct. We get in there. It's barred from that side. Is there like a sewer entrance or something? There's gotta be some sort of underground entrance. If I were him, how would I get into my place? Don't take this the wrong way. You look a little sickly. I need to get up there, maybe. Unfortunately, my weird clipping thing isn't going to work here. Unless I can go across from up there. I'm probably making this way harder than it needs to be, but... We should probably not lockpick our way in to this house in plain sight. I'm just very briefly going to go inside to see if I can get up on the balcony. Of course this place would have no balcony exit. Ah! Why is the game exploding? Right. This house sucks. We're never gonna find our way in. What does the quest say? It just says to infiltrate his house. That is not helpful. Even in the slightest. Alright. There's gotta be a way that we missed. We killed the thug. Got a key. Apparently the key opens everything except for the door. That's barred. This is locked. Hmm. What up here? And then we went this way before, but it didn't work out as we were hoping. Because this wall has no grip. 
doesn't count as like a grippable surface for our roguey skills. We need to get up there. That's where we need to be. Okay, let's see if we can find our way up to there. Seeing as how Riften is home to the Okay, well, Bali's house is open for business, and there's definitely a balcony on the roof. I trust you're not planning it. I'm not planning. What can I do for nothing. you? Nothing. I need to get out on your roof. How does your house have a balcony entrance and not a balcony entrance at the same time? Your house is stupid, and you should feel bad. Bali's around. Like very clearly. Oh, my! He doesn't have an entrance. Where is there an entrance? How do you get up there? Ah, oh, we don't need to lockpick that door. We'll go around the other side. I think maybe we can go up the long way around. Let's try this. We go up here. And then over and around. Or possibly just over here. Fresh meat, some That's still pretty far distance, isn't it? Oh. Oh no, I'm falling. Damn it. You're a dragon. Maybe we need to get on the roof. Throw our way up to the roof. Probably. Let's back here. Hmm. Those are some steep roofs. Okay, I'm gonna look around and see if I can figure this out. Okay, I figured it out. It took a while. It took way longer than I anticipated. I knew it had something to do with this ramp, but I couldn't figure it out. We now are on our way in. That was silly. Although also kind of amusing trying to figure that out for like 12 minutes or something like that. Bandit. How is the bar locked in place? You just lift it up. It's not that hard. It's a bar. For a dude that supposedly... Oh, he's got a lot of gems. Okay, so he's got some stuff. Also pretty nice bed. And a Tabella statue. I'm sorry, bandits. You are definitely not going to make it out of here. I wish I could say I was sorry, but you're working for a bad guy. Then again, so am I. Then again, I am the bad guy. Hmm. The darkest to darkest. Darkness, darkness. Blah. Can I unlock this door? Of course not. We've killed two marauders without being detected, which is important. I don't know why I took mead. There's got to be a secret here somewhere. Like a button? Unless, of course, it's on a floor above us, the secret area. Maybe it's this cupboard. It wasn't. What about this cupboard? That'll do it. I knew I heard squeaking. Huh. A lot of random gems just sitting around in the sewers.
Ow. I was not expecting that. Holy crap, that hurt way more than I thought it would. Okay. He may be here. M, not certain how you managed to get your hands on that item we discussed, but I'm more than pleased. I thought you'd simply wait until it's being transported from Castle Dorto to its final destination, but according to what I've heard, it vanished straight from their armory. I wish you knew how you're able to slip past the guards, wipe past the portcullis, unlock the armory door, and break into that dwarven puzzle or lock chest. You need to teach me that little trick sometime. I left your cut in the usual drop spot, and might have another job for you soon. Ah, the lusty Argonian maid, we're gonna take that. Good book. We did get a little bit shot with arrows there. And we're going into the Ratway Vaults. Hey, we've been here before. And back into the Ragged Flagon. Stabbed in the back. It's like the dog brother it all over again. And into the cistern. Let's go talk to some peeps. Mostly just him. We've scoured the town and I've spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. Any luck on your end? He wasn't there, but I found these plans. Shore's beard? He's going after the eyes of the Falmer? That was Gallus' pet project. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good and set up for life. Then we have to stop him. Agreed. He's taken everything the guild has left, and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. I've spoken to Carlia and made amends for how the guilds treated her. Now she wishes to speak with both of us. Quickly, we have no time to lose. Until next we meet, lad. All right. I promise you, all your questions. I promise you, all questions will be answered. You just have to trust me. Mm hmm. What's up? I promise okay. you. Okay. All your questions will be answered. You just have to trust me. I guess we have to wait for them to all gather in one place. So, the ending of my tale I began early. Not now, lad. Carlia said it was important. Fighting off a pack of trolls or my favorite. We abetted four women on the same night. Well, if you don't want to hear it, that's your loss. Not now, lad. I promise. Carlia said it was important. All your questions will be answered. Brynjolf, the time has come to decide Mercer's fate. Until a new guildmaster is chosen, the decision falls to you. Aye, lass. And I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill both of you. He betrayed the guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. He needs to die. We have to be very careful, Brynjolf. Mercer is a nightingale, an agent of Nocturnal. And it's all true. Everything I heard in the stories. The Nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturnal, and the Twilight Sepulchre. Yes. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside of Riften, beyond the southeast gate is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clearing, and an old standing stone. I'd ask you both to meet me there. I have some preparations at my... I'll meet you at the stone. Okay, we're off to the stone. You know what, we can just quick travel from here. I'm almost certain we have not been there. But we can go to the, no the Snowshod Farm and walk from there, I think.
All right, let's make our way. Hello, farmer. Did you see the from Golden Glow Estate? I was afraid the whole place was going to burn to the ground. Yeah, that's totally a dragon. Bummer. It's right there. Oh man. Can we just not and say we did? You just made the last mistake of your life. Darkness consume you! At least Carlyle and Brynn Wolf are here. We have magic. We still have a, we're still at destruction. A thousand. Or a hundred. A thousand. Whatever. It's gonna take every ounce of our mana though because we don't have any of the buffs. Or any of the perks anymore. Wait, where's it going? Oh, there's... Was it attacking a deer? Why, dragon? Why a poor deer? Oh, now it's attacking that town. Don't leave, I need to kill you. Bad mistake, dragon. Why am I on its head with a dagger? This sounds like a terrible idea. Also, this killing glow takes a very long time. God might get me. Maybe dead now. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. Alright, problem solved. We're here after the dragon thing. I think we can trust Kalaya. Let's see what she's on about. I'm glad you're here. What is the significance of this place? This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. What kind of an edge? If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the okay. way. This way, please. Uh... Oh, I see. I'm not going to lie, it's not that well hidden. It's kind of very close to Riften. So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped divert attention from our true nature. That's why I'm doing it. This is one of my favorite places in the whole game, actually. I'm trying to understand why I'm here last. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not here. Why pick me? Where did Carlisle go? Oh, there she is. This is Nightingale Hall. You're the first of the uninitiated to set foot inside in over a century. Now. If you'll both proceed to the armory to don your Nightingale armor, we can begin the oath. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. Alright, let's get our armor going. There we go. And now we are carrying too much to run. The Nightingale, though, armor is very cool looking. We're way over cap, which is unfortunate. We'll drop some stuff. Let's see what we have. First of all, Ghost Blade looks cool, but it oh, only weighs one. Uh, Nightingale Blade weighs a ton, but also looks very cool. Draven's bow only weighs seven. Hmm. What are we carrying around? I mean, realistically, we should be carrying around the uh, Ebony Mail.
Uh, we can get rid of the dragon bone dragon scale. That helps us out a little bit. It certainly doesn't help we're carrying around like 700 gems. Um, okay, book values. We don't need these anymore. We don't need that. We don't need that or that or that. I want that. What's this say again? Okay, maybe keep that one. These are all quest ones. They don't weigh anything, so it doesn't matter. Okay, really, it's just all this garbage that we have. All right, uh, Ulfric's bracers and stuff we're never going to use. We can just get rid of them. Last boots weigh a couple pounds. Get rid of them. We need to get rid of 42 more pounds. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna wear... Hmm. Get rid of those. Alright, this is what the set looks like. I need to put my weapon away so we can actually look at it. Oops. It's not a great lighted area. Okay, well, we'll... What can we drop and just come back for? That's maybe what we'll do. Okay, we're gonna come back for this drop. Actually, you know what? Where'd that go? Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get All right, the show moving on. Alright, there's better light here. So we can actually look at the armor. It looks super cool. Arguably it's not very good for us. Actually, we can probably just unequip it now. I think. any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a Nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Sure. Good. Why After not? After I open the gate, please stand on the circle. Okay. But I'm just gonna say now that, uh... I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. Cord is starting to die. There we go, I think I fixed it now. I have a new microphone cord coming, so hopefully that'll fix the problem. But there's definitely some concerns with this current cord. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. Hope I don't have to wear the armor, because I can't really afford to with the weight capacity I currently have. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Queen of Merc, and Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. Ah, Carlia. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy, and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlia. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Caroline. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. 
How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlisle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Okie dokie. I guess we're a Nightingale now, but we don't have the armor on because... Yeah, weight capacity. Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. He has done more? Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. So the key unlocks any door? Well, yes. But the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. The guild should possess this item. Although it would benefit the guild more than you can imagine, in the end it would do more harm than good. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. Or some may have set out to return something. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Let's go then. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Until next we meet, lad. Uh, okay. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Why tell this to me? Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts. Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. Okay. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. What about you? I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do, maybe even one of the best, but it's all I know. I've never been one to lead. Never desired it, never cared for it. Don't want it. It's about time you asked. Ha! <laughs> Spoken like the leader of the Thieves' Guild. Just don't lose yourself in the role. We have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation. I accept. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. Then let's get to it. I've been poring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthand. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. Until next we meet, lad. Okay, well, I need to go drop off some loot, sell some things, and get my weight capacity down, because we are way over cap. Or we will be if we wear any other armor but our current armor. So, we're gonna call it here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others I'll see you next time. I'm hoping my new cable will arrive soon for my microphone so there's no more problems. But yeah, see you guys soon.